Today in review this thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Vortex High Country 2 aluminum tripod. Hey, this is Adrian with Review This Thing. Before we get into this tripod, do us a big favor, click that subscribe button right over there, click that notification bell. If you have a High Country 2 and you wanna let us know what you think about it, please comment below or if you have any other questions, comment below also. We want to get into this tripod. We want to cover all the facts as always. The first part is fit. For the first part of fit, let's just talk about the size. So the packing size, you know, whenever you have it compressed and ready to carry, it's about two feet long and about four inches wide. And the total weight of the tripod is right at four pounds. It does come with a carry bag as well. So being able to just throw it over your shoulder, carry it, not too big, not too bulky and not too heavy. Now, in terms of fit and size, there is one limitation I would say about our study, and that is that we didn't take this out Western backcountry hunting, so we didn't have to pack it and carry it for several miles. So weighing it four pounds, that doesn't sound very heavy, and for the short distances that we carried it, we definitely didn't think it was too heavy. But um, if you've taken this out West backcountry hunting, comment below and let us know what you think about that weight. They do make some lighter ones, but they're carbon and therefore quite a bit more expensive. But for our purposes, the weight and the size were great. Even though it is lightweight, it can hold up to 22 pounds, which means your spotting scope, your camera, your binoculars, anything that you have that you need a tripod for should be able to fit on here pretty well. So what score can we give fit? For the purposes that we used it, it did exactly what we wanted it to. It wasn't too heavy. The sizing was great, easy to carry, and it held our spotting scope and our binos, which is the main thing we were using. So because of that, we're gonna give Fit a five out of five. Now is the Vortex High Country 2 as advertised. The first thing that Vortex advertises is that it's the ideal combination of packability and stability. This tripod is made of aluminum, so it's obviously gonna be very sturdy. And again, at four pounds, lightweight enough to be packable, I would say. And sturdy enough that we never had any problems keeping our spotting scope mounted securely, safely, and stable. The other thing they advertise is simple intuitive controls of the pan head. I would definitely have to say that that's right on target. You just loosen it by turning it righty tighty lefty loosey and then you can just spin so you get that pan you can tilt and all that is very very smooth and very easy to do whenever you're ready to keep it in place you just turn it to tighten it or if you just want to minimize how easy it is to turn it then you just loosen it a little bit and it's still a little snug but you can still move it and then the final thing vortex advertises is that this arca swiss mount provides a wide range of compatibility with different attachments Absolutely, I would have to say that's true. We were able to just mount the little bracket that came with it onto our spotting scope, put it in there, no problems. Also able to mount a bino adapter on there and also figured out that we can put the bog death grip directly on here as well. So if you were taking this backcountry hunting and you wanted to have something for your spotting scope, but then also wanted to have the ability to hold your rifle in place whenever you're ready to take that shot, we can mount that directly to this tripod as well. And that little adapter should screw on easily to any like phone mount that you have or your camera, anything else that you'd wanna put on a tripod. So is the Vortex High Country 2 as advertised? So far, I would have to say it does everything that we've listed, all met all those criteria. So because of that, I'm gonna have to give it a five out of five. Now onto construction and durability. As I mentioned, it is made of aluminum, so it's gonna be very sturdy and that lightweight factor in there as well. And I talked about the fact that it's also pretty stable, even with a big heavy spotting scope attached to the top. Now, as far as long-term durability, we've only had this tripod out a couple months. And I mentioned we didn't, you know, bang it around on mountains or rocks or anything like that, but we did have it in and out of the truck several times and just, you know, putting it together, throwing it in the bag, pulling it out. And so far it's held up great. We haven't had any issues with the pan head not working properly. No problems with the flip lever locks. It still slides smoothly. So short-term durability has been fantastic. There are a few features about this tripod that I want to point out as far as construction that I think are pretty cool. The first is that the legs are adjustable, the angle of them. So let's say you were on the side of a mountain or something, you can adjust one or two leg angles. Or if you're shooting prone and you want to get it as flat as you can, then you can move those arms. Basically, it can go down to, I think it says like 11.3 inches, which is barely off the ground. 
The other thing to adjust the height of the legs, it has these flip lever locks that I talked about, and I like those a lot better than the twist lock ones. To me, they're just way easier to use, way easier to feel comfortable that they're secure, and especially if you need to do it quickly. Because of the way you can adjust the height there, and then also this middle post, it goes up to where it's just over five feet. I'm five four, and you can see where the top of that hits me when I'm standing beside it. And for added stability, it also offers this counterweight hook. So if you may be in really windy conditions, you can hang a weight from the bottom that piece can also be removed which is how this tripod is able to go as low as it does and then of course we talked about the mounting system makes it very versatile and you can use it for lots of different things one thing too that's pretty cool about this mount system is that as you loosen it and tighten it you can adjust the balance of whatever you have mounted to it so our spotting scope is fairly heavy and so it was off balance some so we were having a bit of a hard time getting it to stay in put but all we had to do was scoot it forward and backward until we found the balance point and then we didn't have any problems from that point forward Forward. So what score can we give construction and durability? As far as construction, we've been very happy. As far as short-term durability, we've been very happy. Obviously, with that full disclosure caveat that we haven't taken it on some really hard backcountry trips thus far. But for our purposes, which is mainly shooting at the range and then just some wildlife viewing in <laughs> close distance to our vehicle, we're going to have to say it's doing great. So construction and durability, five out of five. Now on to testimonials and reviews. So there were a few places where I found this tripod, so I just kind of collected all those reviews. And I want to tell you the complaints people had, which weren't very many. One was that the very first use, the leg broke. That was the only review I found that said that. So I'm sure Vortex handled that. Their customer service is great. Another person said they didn't think the panhead handle was big enough. And so it was kind of hard to maneuver. I hadn't really thought about that, but it would definitely be more comfortable if it was a little bit larger so that you didn't have to twist quite as much. Not uncomfortable, but that's a good point. Maybe Vortex make that handle a little bit bigger. Just a thought. And then finally, I think one reviewer said it could be more steady. Now we haven't had it in any really super windy conditions. Where we had it, we didn't have any issues with stability. And then just remember they do have that hook on the bottom so you can add a little bit of weight to make it even more stable. As always, we tell you the score that we found. So for testimonials and reviews, the Vortex High Country 2 gets a 4.6 out of 5. Okay, now the whole reason you're here, should you buy this thing? As always, it very much depends on what you're looking for. If four pounds is too heavy, if you really want super lightweight, then they do make other ones that are like two and a half-ish pounds. You're going to end up paying a lot more money for a carbon tripod. And at four pounds, pretty lightweight, pretty easy to carry, yet still sturdy and stable. The retail price in stores for the High Country 2 is right at $199.99, which is a very reasonable price for the tripod and the quality that you're getting. And it also includes the pan head. And then the other thing that I felt was super cool, now Vortex doesn't make their own four-end grip mount, but the one that we have made from Bog was able to fit perfectly. That versatility really makes this a pretty high quality tripod in my mind. So should you buy this thing? For our purposes, this did exactly what we needed. It's lightweight, stable, easy to use. The pan head worked perfectly for using our spotting scope as well as our binoculars. And then I'm excited to try it with that bog death grip and see how it does shooting as well. At $199.99, great tripod. Because of that, I'm going to have to say, should you buy this thing? Five out of five. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. While you're here, watch a ton of our other videos and make sure you subscribe. If you have a Vortex High Country 2, comment below and let us know what you think and ask any other questions we didn't answer. And do us a big favor and follow us on Facebook and on Instagram.